Hi everybody, this is Dr. Henson. I wanted to make this video because uh, I posted a picture on Instagram and Facebook yesterday that had this information written on it. And uh, I've had a lot of people ask me questions uh, in regards to this. So I thought I'd make a video that might help explain it a little better. But the concept is, is that every muscle in the body is associated with an organ and a gland. So when an organ or a gland is malfunctioning or stressed for whatever reason, uh, then the muscles associated with that organ or gland will malfunction or can malfunction. And so what will happen is that a person may can start complaining of a, a joint problem somewhere in their body that uh, wasn't because of any kind of a trauma, like they weren't uh, lifting weights or they didn't fall and you know didn't have any kind of an accident, but they're complaining of pain there. And so one of the things I do when I'm evaluating patients is we go through and test a bunch of different muscles in the body because the muscles are incredible biofeedback tools and kind of help guide us like little compasses to what needs to be done for that particular person on that day. And so if a person is complaining of digestive issues, it's very common for them to end up having, you know, joint pains in different parts yeah. of their body. So let's say for example, someone comes in with uh, or complains of a shoulder problem. And as I go through and do all of my testing, I kind of you know, the testing and the responses all kind of lead me to their stomach. Well, people get a funny look on their face whenever I ask them, hey, have you had any digestive problems? Are you, you know, having any acid reflux or anything like that? And they kind of look at me and they're like, well, yeah, but well, what does that have to do with anything? Well, many times if that organ is under stress, then that's one of the reasons why their shoulders bugging them because the muscle associated with, one of the muscles associated with the stomach is right under the collarbone here and attaches into the shoulder. And so that muscle will malfunction and then their shoulder isn't as stable and so it starts to become irritated, inflamed, and can become painful. But you could make different adjustments to the shoulder, maybe even different adjustments to the neck to try to help that. But if you don't address the, the underlying problem, which is the poor stomach function, either because of a hiatal hernia or because the stomach is just lacking certain nutrients it needs in order to be able to function at its best and digest our food, then you're really not getting anywhere with them. You know, you can adjust someone's shoulder, their collarbone, or their neck until the cows come home, but if that organ is not addressed and the function of that organ is not improved, then that correction, whatever correction a person might do to that area is going to be very short-lived. So when, you're, when you start having a joint problem, and it's not because of that. It could. This might be one ex, you know reason why. So, for example, I had two patients come in today, and um, one of them was complaining of uh, you know just not feeling good, kind of feeling under the weather and kind of nauseous, and then the other person was complaining of uh, problems in their knee. The common denominator amongst both of them was that they were having gallbladder stress, which, like you see here, anytime there's stress on the gallbladder, there's a muscle behind the knee known as the popliteus which is designed to help stabilize the knee. And anytime the gallbladder is stressed, that muscle can't do its job very well. So therefore, that knee won't be stable. And they may complain about different, but you know, here's the big thing I wanna drive home here. One patient complained of nausea, which the gallbladder can cause. And when I asked her some of the stuff she'd been eating, you know, she had had some fried and fatty foods, which aren't necessarily bad, but then she had had some ice cream and things that were kind of rich and, and, and greasy. That can put a little bit of a burden or cause the gallbladder to get a little sluggish and create some nausea too. So the other patient though complained of an actual knee problem, yet the, the, the I guess the cause of both of their issues was poor gallbladder function. So the cool thing is, is you, by testing different muscles of the body, you're able to figure out, hey, is this you know, problem coming from an organ, a gland, or an acupuncture meridian? You know, For example, we're always associating um, pain going down the left arm with the heart, right? And heart attacks. So it's, the concept is the same. You know, every muscle in the body has an organ, a gland, um, or an acupuncture meridian, um, different levels of the spinal column or extremities that are associated with it. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that information out there. And if you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to uh, private message me or text message me and I'll be happy to answer those. Anyway, you guys have a great night. Thanks.